To be or not to be, that is the question whether it is nobler in the mind. To suffer the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune or to take arms against a sea of troubles and by opposing in them. To die, to sleep, no more. And by sleep we say to end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is in to to some consummation devoutly to be wished. To die, to sleep. the rum, for in that sleep of death what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil must give us pause. Mortal coil must give us pause. <laughs> How about a happy in between? Mortal coil. Mortal, mortal. Let's 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 uh, Americanize it, shall we? <clears throat> mortal, mortal, mortal. They don't even do the T. We do a D. All right. Mortal coil. This is good. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just start again. <clears throat> this will be the fastest hammer. Sea of troubles and by opposing end them to die to see no more and by asleep we say to end the heartache and the thousand natural shocks that flesh is heir to it is a consummation devoutly to be wished to die to sleep. For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come? When we have shuffled off, this mortal coil must give us pause. There's the respect that makes calamity of so long life. For who would bear the whips and scorns of time? The oppressor's wrong, the proud man's contumely, the pangs of disprised love, the law's delay, the insolence of office, and the spurs, the patient merit of the unworthy takes when he himself might his quietus make with a bare bolt <laughs> Who would fardels bear to grunt and sweat under a weary life, but that the dread of something? After death, the undiscovered country from whose born no traveler returns puzzles the will and makes us rather bear those ills we have than fly. To others that we know not of, thus conscience does make cowards of us all. And thus the native hue of resolution is sicklied o'er with the pale cast of thought and enterprises of great pith and moment. With this regard, their currents turn awry and lose the name of action. Soft you now, the fair Ophelia, nymph, in thy orisons be all my sins remembered. I humbly thank you well, 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 no, not I, I never gave you aught. 
You should not have believed me. For virtue cannot so inoculate our old stock, but we shall relish of it. I loved you not. Get thee to a nunnery. Why wouldst thou be a breeder of sinners? I am myself indifferent, honest, but yet I could accuse me of such things as it were better my mother had not borne me. I'm very proud, revengeful, ambitious, with more offenses at my back than I have thoughts to put them in all thoughts to put them in, imagination to give them shape, or time to act them in, which, what, what something, I forgot, but this is getting long, so, anyway, that's kind of how we do this, I hope you enjoy it.